The Full Count, presented by Amica Insurance. It's not just how you're covered, it's how you're treated. It's time for the weekly Red Sox statistic you won't find anywhere else guaranteed. By now we all know that the Red Sox lineup has exceeded expectations. The team's 5.4 runs per game are tops in the majors, but you probably didn't know how consistent the offense has been. The Sox have scored at least six runs in 33 of their 66 games so far. That's tied for the most in the majors this year. Don't tease me, bro! I wrote an entry about how Victor Martinez is called not one, but both instances in which a player hit the first pitch of his big league career for a grand slam. Well, I got some not so nice feedback. Open air movie rope. That's your, that's your real name. This has to be the hardest article to read that I have ever seen. Learn to write, man. Way too many direct quotes. It made no sense. And Peter King added, I agree. Where did you go to school, Rob? BKU. Don't tease me, bro. As much as I admire your work, Peter King. I'll tell you this, my middle name is Farnsworth. I'm changing my pen name to R. Farnsworth Bradford. That immediately makes me the best writer ever. So there, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Welcome back to 3 Up, 3 Down, where we tell you everything that's going on with the Red Sox, the good and the bad. Alex, you got the first one. We'll start with Up, John Lackey. He's become a staff workhorse and over his last four starts in which he's 3-0 with an ERA just over three. He's looked like a pitcher ready to go on a run as he promised he would. Up, oh, Dustin Bedoy has been up and down for the second baseman of late as he's tried to play through a knee injury, but the laser show has been going again with Bedoy hitting 500 over five games dating to last Thursday. Up, oh, Daniel Nava. The Sox purchased his contract from the independent Golden Baseball League for one freaking dollar in 2007. On Saturday, the kid who was smaller than the baseball bats he could not swing in high school made history, launching a grand slam on the first big league pitch he saw. And now we have to talk about the negative stuff, the downs. Mike Cameron, it's due largely, if not solely, to the fact that he's playing through significant pain, but the 37-year-old has been a non-factor in the lineup today. Down, another injury guy, Booth Bonzer. Pitchers returning from shoulder surgeries usually struggle to find consistency, and Bonzer has been no different. His velocity has been solid, his results, not so much. Down, the idea of baseball as a non-contact sport. The count of hairline fractures to the ribs for the Sox is up to 10 this year. Adrian Beltre is a force to be reckoned with. Don't tease him, bro. <laughs> with the 2010 draft complete, New Englanders will have a chance to see much of the top talent from the last two drafts in Lowell. The spinners could have a stacked lineup. Among the most intriguing players will be Colburn Vidic and David Renfro. Potential middle of the order hitters will split time at third base and DH. 2009 10th rounder Brandon Jacobs, an outfielder whose raw power earned comparisons in high school to Frank Thomas, and 2010 selectee Bryce Brents, another promising masher. For more Red Sox coverage, make sure you visit the Full Count blog over the course of the week. Rob, how is the Full Count blog? It's awesome! <laughs>